Hi everyone, this is Konstantin Weinfeld and I will give you a harmonica lesson right now talking about jazz blues that I composed for this little instrument um, and for my students. So it incorporates a lot of bendings um, and you won't need any overblows to play the melody or something. Um, but either way you will get really jazzy with this song. I will play it at the end of the lesson and you can already go to the description box below where I put a link to the PDF sheet music of the song which includes the tabs and just the regular notation. Alright, so let's get started. I will just play the melody right now just one time for you without a backing track and after that we'll dig deeper into the melody and the motifs that it's made of. So the question is what is a motif? Um, a motif is basically a small melodic idea melodies are made of. So you could also say that a theme is made of small motifs and we'll analyze them and find ways how to practice those small passages accordingly. And I will just play the melody right now on the C harmonica, which is probably useful for you to know, in the key of G. Okay, so let's go and work on the motifs. So the first motif is basically just a pentatonic scale ascending, skipping one note, which will be pretty interesting for us. We are starting out on hole one draw. Continuing with a two hole blow, two hole draw, and then the most interesting part comes up because we are not playing a three-hole draw straight. Um, we are rather starting on a bend on the same hole. It's, I would say it's a whole tone bend and we are letting it up pretty fast, but it creates at least a small amount of bluesiness. And another thing I always tell, um, you should also try all the licks you can play in the lower octave. You should also try them in the upper octave. The second motif is actually even more interesting. You are starting out on 6 hole blow, playing 4 hole draw after that, 6 hole blow, 4 hole bend, 6 hole blow and 4 hole blow. And you probably notice that's not as easy as it seems um, because you have three things in there. The first thing is you have jumps, obviously. Um, the second thing, you have breathing directions that change. And the third thing, um, you are also changing the technique with which you are creating the sound of the note. So you have the bend while you're jumping and changing your breathing direction um, with a two notes, six blow and four hole bend. And that's something I would practice slowly um, because with the precision you'll get fast um, automatically. And I would also play that uh, motif just up and down. And you probably notice 
while listening that the six hole blow is just a small journey to another note but it's not really the main thing of the melody um, the main melody is the third motif um, something you can hear similar in Blue Monk by Thelonious Monk And it's basically just a chromatic line starting on three hole draw. And this is again something you could practice back and forth, slowly of course, and then you'll get faster with the time. And again you have the jump from Four hole draw to six hole blow. For the next motif, we are circulating around four hole draw. Um, the phrase could remind you of something like, but we are playing it in a more jazzy way. So, as I said, we are circulating around four hole draw. And the notes we are using to do that are a five-hole draw, five-hole blow, and the bend on hole four. And the most uh, difficult part in that passage is um, the jump between five-hole draw and the four-hole bend. Also to get them in tune, it's really useful again to practice that switch between the notes pretty slowly. So we're really anticipating that four hole draw and that makes the melody really interesting for the listener. The next two motifs are a bit similar in rhythm and just in the melodic line. Um, the first one is again a pentatonic scale, um, just ascending, but this time in the key of C. And after that we have a diminished chord and we basically play the arpeggio of that. So those two are not really worth talking about, but the next one is pretty interesting, but at the same time easy. So this is again a, an arpeggio. Mm, we are starting on hold 7 draw, playing 6 hold blow, 5 hold blow, 4 hold blow. And um, those are four notes a chord is made of, the basis for all jazz harmony. And the most important thing is not to let them blur together, like, but really to make each note um, listenable on its own. This is just a diatonic arpeggio, and you could also practice those. And so on. Um, I would probably uh, write the tabs of that um, exercise also below in the description box. So um, we had this one. Again, that Blue Monk phrase. And 
And the last one is pretty interesting again. Um, really chromatic. And again, you have to be careful with your intonation. Um, and it sounds pretty interesting and you don't need an overblow to do that, which is pretty great. And again, the target note this time is three hole draw. So now I'm gonna play the whole melody with a backing track. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below too. Um, of course you can write questions below into the comments and I would try to answer each one of them. And also if you're interested in personal Skype lessons, I do that too. Um, you will find my email address in the description box and you can get in touch with me through that. Alright, have fun. <laughs>